Yeah. I'm pleased to welcome you all to the 379th ordinary session of our Politburo, marking the commencement of the 21st National People's Conference, which is going to be hosted by Ulawayo province. The session will therefore receive final reports on our readiness to hold the conference. Other aspects which are very critical are associated with the agenda and the format of our proceedings will be discussed today. During this session, the Politburo will also receive the Central Committee report to the 21st National People's Conference in line with the dictates of our party constitution, ZANU-PF. Sadly, since our last meeting, we laid to rest a gallant son of the soil and a stalwart of our war of independence the late national hero, Comrade Shinga Judge Dube, at our sacred National Heroes Acre. I now invite the Politburo to observe a minute of silence in his honor and memory. May his soul rest in peace. <coughs> Comrades, I want to applaud you all, including the coordinating committee our party staff and our host, the Bloy province, for the preparatory work undertaken in the preparation and build up to this year's conference. The dedication <laughs> and loyalty to the party, as well as the unity and focus witnessed so far, must remain throughout the conference and indeed embedded in our work ethics and a broader organizational culture. As we set our focus on the conference, it is critically important that the party locates the overarching need to support, revitalize, and recalibrate our manufacturing sector as an urgent and central task for the development of our motherland. The necessity to steer the party towards debating and considering a broad array of interventions to propel industrial growth and card on local value addition and beneficiation of our resource endowments cannot be overemphasized. This is more so given the abundant reserves of key minerals that support the development of electrical vehicles and other new energy solutions. This is an indispensable guarantee ensuring that our efforts to modernize, industrialize, and grow our economy to success is a burden on our own shoulders. It is important to note that this year's conference beckons us to rally our energies and capabilities and abilities with regard to crafting responsive and futuristic resolutions. 
This will go a long way in fostering broad and collective responsibilities to realize a modern and industrialized Zimbabwe which benefits all our people. Our land reform program is irreversible and is protected. <laughs> Section 292 of the Constitution as complemented by Section 289, 293 and 294 obligates the state to give security of tenure to all citizens, including war veterans, their children, and other dependents. The ZANPF government is implementing a land tenure policy to ensure that our agricultural land is bankable, registrable, registra registrable, and transferable among indigenous Zimbabweans only. <laughs> this will ensure certainty and enable farmers to conduct their farming activities as a business. Meanwhile, <laughs> indications of yet another record-breaking winter winter bumper harvest are a welcome development. Our farmers and other stakeholders in the <coughs> agriculture sector continue to push the boundaries in increasing production and productivity. We are surely on the right path to securing and guaranteeing national food security and sovereignty for our people. Going forward, it is incumbent on the party to continue energizing and rallying our grassroots members across every village, ward, and district to ramp up the preparations for the 2024 to 2025 summer cropping season. Food security and sovereignty at both national and household levels demand that we stay focused as a nation capable of feeding ourselves. More so that food security and sustained agricultural development are the basis upon which the socio-economic superstructure of our country is built and it thrives on. Comrades, I wish to congratulate our sister revolutionary party Frelimo <laughs> and the elect, the president elect, His Excellency Comrade Daniel Chapo, as well as the people of Mozambique on their resounding victory during the recently held elections. Congratulations, <laughs> Prelima. ZANPF stands ready to cement the long existing revolutionary unity between our two parties and our two countries. In conclusion, let me reiterate that constitutionalism, discipline, unity, patriotism, loyalty, as well as hard, honest work remain indispensable values of our party ZANPF, which must never, never be tempered with. I once again thank you all for demonstrating a sustained commitment to ensure the success of both party and government programs projects and activities across the country. As the events preceding our main conference unfold, let us continue to avail our skills and experience for the work that lies ahead to guarantee responsive and people-centered resolutions. We must abandon silo mentalism. ZANPF 
is a party for everybody. We are all equal in Zanzibar. I thank you.